Hey everybody, it's Mama J and I am back with part six. That's right, part six of our comic book videos. We are going through all the comic books I had, finally organizing them, splitting them up instead of keeping them mixed on the ones I'm keeping, the ones I'm not keeping. I know that I had a lot that Spectre was keeping at one point that he's decided he does not want, so that's changing up some stuff. So anyways, we're going to go through the pile that we have here. We'll do one pile per video of approximately 15 comics. Again, you see something you like that I'm putting in my not keep pile, reach out. We can work something out as long as I still have it. Other than that, let's get started. First one I have here, and I believe I might have a complete set of these, probably all mixed in somewhere, but this is Gotham City Garage. These are pretty cool looking covers. I don't know if there's something I'll keep or not. Probably not. Like I said, I'm really trying to weed down my collection. I want it all to fit in at least one box because I know eventually I'm going to have to start a second box. So I'm really, really trying to weed down my collection. So this is probably not a keeper. But again, I think I have a full set of those. So I'm going to have to watch as I go through. Now this one, this is a keeper. Here's my ACDC. These are pretty sick. I know there's a whole like spew of rock and roll comics. I do not have them all yet, but I have a large collection. Once I go through and I've split these up, then I'm going to go through and put the ones I'm keeping on a, I don't know, some kind of comic book saver like the Funko app, but for comics so that I know what I have and what I still need. But that's pretty awesome. ACDC is definitely a keeper. Ooh, this next one for sure is a keeper. We got Mr. Alice Cooper. I have quite a few Alice Cooper comics, but as you can tell, these are the ones from the Rock and Roll series. Um, these were called Rock and Roll Comics. These were by Revolutionary Comics. And like it says here, it's 100% unauthorized material, but there's Mr. Alice Cooper, so that's definitely a keeper. Uh, next one we have here is Grimm. Now, I'm not really, this is a really cool cover. I did get this in one of the mystery boxes I got too, but this is probably not a keeper. I'm not even really sure. I mean, if I had to guess, I might say either horror or anime for this one, but Graham is not a keeper. This is a really cool cover. Spider-Man, Miles Morales, not a keeper, but still a very cool cover. Oh, next one, definitely the new 52. We got Wonder Woman. We will be keeping this one. That's a pretty sick cover. I like that one with all the arrows and stuff coming at her. Indestructible. Here's another one, the new 52. This one says number zero. This one said number one. So I don't know, does this start at number zero? <laughs> but that's a pretty cool cover. I'm not too impressed with her face. I don't know, something about her face just you know, but the cover itself is pretty cool. Next one is Mr. Miracle from DC. This is a really cool cover. I like um, the colors and the whole design of the cover, but it's not a keeper for me, but that is a really sick cover. This next one definitely is a keeper. It is Wonder Woman and the Tasmanian Devil. That's a pretty awesome cover. All right, next one we got. This is a toughie for me. This is a really sick cover with Wolverine on it, but I don't know, uh, may keep it for now. But I think, you know, some of these I may have more than one. So if I have more than one, I'll definitely be getting rid of one. I don't know. This one is kind of a maybe right now. So I will have a maybe pile too. You know, I'm going to put them with the yeses. And down the road, if I decide that I need to weed out some more, that could be one that goes. This one is Batman and Superman, but with Wonder Woman on the cover. That's pretty awesome. Pretty sick cover. This next cover is, it's a thicker book, but this is a really cool cover. I really enjoy this cover. So that's a pretty sick one, but like I said, it is a thicker book, but it's still a really awesome cover. Now, oh, see, here's another one of the, oh yeah, here's a few of them. Here's Gotham City Garage Enter Lobo. This is a sick cover though. Look at it with Lobo down there. It's pretty awesome. All right, and that was number 11, and I don't remember. Oh, see, that was number 10. There's 11. This is funny, because here's number... 12 Gotham City Garage. So probably not keeping these ones. I don't know. They're really cool, but I'm probably not. I don't think I'm going to keep these. I really got to weed out the collection. And they're not something I'm probably going to read. But I definitely 
want to, you know, clean up the collection. So here is another Gotham, Gotham City Garage, number nine. So that's pretty awesome. So we do have a small stack here that we aren't keeping also. And then we do have another stack that we are keeping. I'm going to have to watch. I do believe that I have all the Gotham City Garage comics, so I'll have to make sure I group those all together. But we got a nice stack that we are keeping. Again, let me know out of these which one were your favorites. Do you collect comics? What kind do you collect? You know, don't forget, this is video number six. When I, we do our next monthly giveaway, we will be doing a giveaway for these first six videos. So make sure that you go back and you hit a comment on each one of them. You got to have a comment on all six for your entries. And don't forget, stick around, check out my Patreons. They get something every month. And if you're interested, there is a link down below. There's also a link for a one-time donation if you just want to grab some swag and maybe enter one of the end-of-the-month giveaways. We'll throw your name on there, too, for the donation to help the channel. But other than that, don't forget, we'll see you in the next one. And keep on rocking. <laughs>